Finally, we will talk about Butterfly. Butterfly is a plugin in the Python library to create and run advanced computational fluid dynamic CFD simulations using open form. I would add probably inside Rhino, inside Grasshopper. So it's, it's, a, it's a Grasshopper plugin. It's also a, a Dynamo plugin, so you can use it in Revit. And it already says you need um, additional software, which is the open form which is a, um, a, an open source CFD engine. So in this video, we will only look into the installation and we will run the sample file. That's, I'm telling you, that's already quite a lot. I also want to say if you, if you run a company and you need to do a quick um, fluid dynamic simulation, then, then I would not uh, recommend to use Butterfly. This is this is something where you need to really invest some time to understand and learn it. But there are other software out there which you can probably use. Which one is Ansys? Ansys has a it's a great tool which provides real time analysis for not just for fluids but also other things like structure and so on. Even even materials. I've never never tried that, but I use the fluid dynamics, and you can use your own or you can use a native a Rhino file within ANSYS, that's possible. And yeah, it's quite neat. So it's commercial and it's, it's expensive also. SimScale is another option, I haven't tried that. You might need to check it out. I think it's a cloud-based um, simulation tool which does pretty much the same as ANSYS. If you want to use a, a plugin for Rhino which runs basically out of the box, then I would recommend Rhino CFD. You can download a light version, which has all the functionality as the commercial version, but with a lower resolution. So it's it's perfect for actually learning. And it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty solid piece of software. But yeah, we want to look at the butterfly because butterfly, first of all, it's open source if you have a lot of time to study it and, and or maybe you're very smart and you can figure it out figure it out very quickly even better i will for sure take a while and um, i want to like really go through each of the components and, and understand what they do and that's what i'm trying to do in the next few videos about butterfly not that i say i will only do butterfly videos no there will be other videos in between but today we will look into the installation so why do we want to go for it? Well, first of all, I want to be able to have a software at hand, which I don't have to pay for if I only use it once a year or twice a year for a project. Uh, and the other reason is that other people are also interested in. And for example, Emad wrote me, by the way, thanks for the recommendation. Hi, Philip, many thanks. I really appreciate your work. I'm a student in architecture and me and other students need help about a method to calculate the effect of green roof on the internal comfort of a building. That's that's tricky, maybe, I don't know. We will maybe look at that at some point. Wind analysis in Rhino and Grasshopper and acoustic comfort and sound dispersion in interior and exterior of buildings. That is also very interesting. So I'm, I'm very interested in all of these. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a look into Butterfly first. Okay, getting started. We need to download it, of course. Download for Grasshopper source code. Source code, no. Uh, the Butterfly Primer, I clicked here already. There's, can't find anything. Let's do it like this. Here. Um, let's go here. Oh yeah, here, we're already here. Download. Here we have the Ladybug Tools 110, the latest. We have the legacy tools, we have Honeybee, and then we have uh, here we have Butterfly. This is already quite old, but, and it says here Grasshopper 6 Windows, Grasshopper 4 and 5 Windows. This version of Butterfly works with Blue CFD Core. Download the zip file, unzip the file, open and run the ins installer. Uh, you need to install open form to use butterfly follow the installation instructions here so forget forget this first sentence we need to first install open form and then we can install 
ladybug, but uh, butterfly. So installing open form, installing blue CFD core. So you need to go here. You can download this from here. Yeah, so this is the latest version. This thing is not small, 790 megabytes. Save and then download. Takes a while once downloaded. Um, yeah, you put it in any of your uh, folders and then uh, right click, run as administrator. I would, uh, I would recommend to do that with all your software just to avoid any conflicts. Yeah, then you have your window here, next, next, and then accept, next. And you should also just use what's suggesting here. I would not try anything else. Probably it doesn't matter, but, but yeah. And it, it needs quite a lot of space. So be aware that this, it needs uh, at least three gigabyte of space. And then next, I already installed it, so I will not click next here, but you will do it. And then you just finish the installation. So yeah, when you have installed, you should see this on your desktop. And um, in order to prepare the environment, we need to actually run this, sorry. Also run this as an admin, the, the core terminal and So now it says, so after that, it actually says now environment is now ready. There is no need to follow any of these steps when running Butterfly and Rhino. These steps only, these steps only must run once to set up blue CFD core and you should not have to run them again. I hope it worked on your end as well. And we move on. Installing Butterfly plugin. Introduction. That looks quite complicated already. Install Butterfly. You download it here from Food for Rhino. You click here, download. Then you have a zip file, which you unzip and uh, it has this content and then you can drag the installer into your Grasshopper. So you would just do this. So here, so I did that already, but I can just do it again. It doesn't matter. Um, I will just, so this is all set up. I just need to, it will install this component on in my C drive and my user under my username and, and then Grasshopper should be there and should work correctly. If you're ready to install, set install input to true. Okay, so double click on this toggle and then it should start. And yeah, because I already had it here, it, it said it, it couldn't remove it. Installation is fi finished successfully. Close both Rhino and Grasshopper and run Rhino as an administrator. Okay. I hope that works because I have some issues with my graphic card. Let's see you on the other end. So right click and then we're gonna run as administrator. I, I was able to open it again. Good. Uh, we have now here butterfly. And um, I have to say these are not the most intuitive symbols really. But it's always good that we have some text here. But yeah, so the next step, which is going to be the last in this video, is to check if it works. And therefore, I think we, we will use the outdoor analysis tool or the auto analysis uh, example for that. So then we know if it works or not. What is pretty cool is that they, so what it says here, uh, a number of sample files are available on GitHub. So actually you could, you, you could really do some uh, studies already with these example files and then just modify them according to your needs uh, and then learn through that. That's definitely a way and that's probably what I would do and I will do 
but let's just check if the installation works and then you can dive deeper in if you want right away or you just wait until another video from me from me but i would say this is the start point and then everybody can jump in you don't need to download it here you actually have it in your there actually there's actually a folder it's called sample files and this is actually the same as here zero one zero one zero outdoor airflow zero one zero outdoor airflow that's the one and the other one is a 2d version and let's well let's try the first one so we can just pull it into our rhino hopefully yeah we just need i think we need to open it like this open document um and then this one that's the one Okay, there's a warning right away. This file is set up in meters. If you're using a different unit, make sure to scale the input geometries. So I will just change my units. I think there's already some geometry in there just to have something to start with. Yes, exactly. So you can see that there's stuff in there. So the example file uh, provides um, here some example geometry. It's not very spectacular, but it serves the purpose to test if the installation worked. Then this goes into the into this tool here, which defines it as butterfly geometry. I just I will just go very quickly through on on what I understand because. But more important now is that we actually installed it correctly and everything runs mm -hmm. so don't ask me for all this like uh, stuff here we will cover that in other videos but basically we get some geometry and then we feed it into this um, tool here and then it goes into the wind tunnel and the wind tunnel has several inputs the the geometry the refinement region so the wind tunnel basically creates a box, a bounding box around the area you calculate. Uh, and so the, the calculation only happens in that area and, and nowhere else. We have the refinement region and then we have the wind speed. Okay, that already ran, that was already on. Then we have the grading. Again, we're here to understand uh, if our installation worked we will go much more in detail in the next in some of the next videos in in that sense i will just run whatever i can run here okay that's right i guess we need to do that because it has this uh, underline here that means we need to run that okay that ran so that worked so far let's see what's in here and now we could meshing okay let's visualize the mesh yeah you can see here ah yeah so it basically you can see how the mesh is built that's what I was talking about. You have this refinement area here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What the hell is snappy hex mesh? Um, well, I, my understanding is that it basically creates this refinement mesh around my object to, to refine the calculation or the simulation around the object better so let's i'm not sure why i always need why i need to write and run it but yeah let's let's just follow it okay so you should see something like that uh, I mean, I can already tell we our installation worked, but let's let's go through that thing. 